Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, the BricsCAD sales and support point for India. In this BricsCAD video, I am going to show you how you can use the CTB files for plotting in BricsCAD. Now, if you go to the page setup here, you can see that there is something called as the plot style table or pen assignments. So here, if you choose the options, you can see that there is default.ctb, monochrome.ctb, displaycolors.ctb and so on. CTB stands for color table file. It is a means by which you can assign a pen setting for each color in the BricsCAD drawing. So mostly people prefer to use either the default.ctb or the monochrome.ctb but you can have a custom CTB file as well. So in this example here, you can see that we have a simple drawing in which I have created seven lines and each one has a different color from one, two, three up to seven. So let us see how this looks when we use different types of CTB files. So first I'm going to use the default.ctb which is the colors as per how it is set in the drawing. So I'm going to choose print as PDF as the plotter, plot the layout say OK and then I'm going to right click print so everything is set normally now so I'm going to say print and I'm going to put this in my F drive so ctb test layout 1.pdf so it's done it's created the ctb file so let's go and view it so you can see that each color is as per how it is set in the drawing so that is default.ctb or which uses all the existing colors on the drawing now let's print it again and this time i'm going to use monochrome.ctv monochrome will ensure that irrespective of what color you have in the drawing your output will always come in black so i'm going to say print all right and now we go here and take a look so you can see that what i had in different colors is now appearing in the pdf file with a single color which is black so that is how you use ctb files to control the output of your plot so let's go back here to print and I'm going to change something here. I'm going to create a new plot style. So I'm calling it as Akesh. Launch editor, say OK. Now, this is where I can create my own CTB file. Now, creating your own CTB file is pretty easy. You just need to set up all your options here. The most important options are in form view and line weights. So if you come to form view, you can see different colors here. I think there's one to 255, which are the standard colors. So for each one of these colors, you can set the line type. Say for example, for red, I want dash. And for line weight, I want, let's say, 2.11 mm. So like this, you can sp specify the different styles for your color. And you can just say save and close. So now I'm going to print it. So it's done. So I go back to the PDF file. So you can see that everything is the same, except that color one which is red is now appearing with a dashed line type this has come in dashed line type because i changed it in the ctv file not in the drawing in the drawing i still have it with this continuous line type but in the ctb file i have changed it to dashed so that is why you are getting it as dashed in the output so the ctb file is a means by which you can control the output of your drawing without having to change the drawing itself there's a lot of power and flexibility if you use it properly thank you for watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions